with her. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Long time no vlog. Actually, I feel like it's been a little bit since I picked up the vlog camera, but hello, hi, how are you? We are back and today is Monday morning. I literally feel like I only know when it's Monday because I'm like, oh God, it's the glitter tweet day. Like I cannot forget the glitter tweet because everyone will come for me if I ever forget the glitter tweet and I've never forgotten the glitter tweet. So thank you guys for holding me accountable to the glitter tweet every Monday. Glitter for your Monday. There it is. Anyways, I have missed you guys and I feel like I have a bunch of exciting things to tell you, mainly that I am officially furnishing the podcast room in my house that is going to be happening soon so I can't wait to show you some of the stuff that I've picked out ah. I'm so 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 excited the paperwork is officially signed and I feel like I've been talking about the podcast for so long now everything going on with COVID obviously kind of slowed down the process which has been totally fine I guess people are actually listening to podcasts less right now which I actually totally understand because personally I listen to podcasts either like when I'm around the house cleaning or tidying my room or like in the car and so I guess because people aren't driving to work podcast listening is actually down which is super interesting so maybe this is a good thing that I kind of got pushed back a little bit anyways I can't wait to show you the progress of the podcast room I'm waiting on a few more like big pieces to do a final reveal decorate situation but I'm excited to show you what's already showed up this is the uh, situation right now I am doing a video for Cosmo where I'm collaging and I'm so excited because I feel like I haven't done a photo collage in so long. So I have all these magazine clippings of just like fun images that are just like pretty and aesthetic. And I'm gonna be making this massive collage over here for the Cosmo channel. Okay, so still a work in progress, but my co-host and I have our chairs set up. So cute, they're so deep and like cozy. I can't wait to sit in like a full sweatsuit and record episodes of the podcast. This is a really cool wood table. Honestly, I wish I had ordered more of these to like put in other places of the house it's so cute and so typically the podcast microphones kind of like clip onto the side of a table and it'll just like lean over onto me so here is the plan these are gonna scooch in a little closer to the middle I ordered four wood floating shelves that are gonna go to like here 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 and here and I ordered a whole bunch of decor and plants to go on them so it'll build out kind of like a gallery wall and then I'm planning sheer curtains to go over top of these I'm planning to record at night so I think they'll always be closed so the curtains I feel like are gonna be necessary because these are pretty boring. They're just like straight up plain white shades. And then I got a bunch of decor. So this is a photo set from Target and they're all a little bit different, but the color scheme is almost perfect for the podcast cover art. So I feel like those will be super complimentary on the shelves. And then this is all from Target, but it came in so many different packages, but I got a bunch of fake plants. This one's super cute. This one for a pop of color and then a bunch of gold frames just to fill with art or photos or whatever. Two of these ones, and I also ordered a glass terrarium and both of them shattered on the way here, so that's fun. But yeah, podcast room coming along. I'm so excited to get the shelves and put together the whole back wall of what it's gonna look like so I can kind of like envision the whole background setup because it has officially been decided that there will be a brand new YouTube channel to do a video portion of the podcast recording itself as well. And back to the film room we are on uh, the craft grind today I'm currently filming a video for 17 magazine so here's a little sneak peek and I've got my filming set up all set up and I was waiting for some paint to dry so I think we're good now to finish this and we back to it good morning guys it is the next day and oh my gosh I know I know the hair the hair what's going on I don't know I think I like it I'm not entirely sure though so essentially I've been wearing my hair in a sprout so often and I don't know notice any breakage but I am just being a little cautious because I don't want to accidentally give myself DIY bangs because of too much sprout breakage so anyways I've been trying to find some other hairstyles that I like that still give me a little bit of volume when my hair is in a middle part and just like sits flat like she sits flat so I feel like this is a little bit better in lens to just like my head shape more appropriately than a middle part I don't know I also have like a bit of a widow's peak and a cowlick like right here and kind of like right here which just causes a whole bunch of other fun things to work through when I'm doing my hair anyways let me know what you guys think I'm kind of into it this is very like old lord DIY like end of high school first year of university but like she glue up she got blonder hair now oh my god guys 
guys, I ripped all of my lash extensions out. I know it's not focusing, but we back to falsies. If you watched the last vlog, you guys saw me put on real lash extensions. Oh my, hang on, I gotta sit down for this. I literally set this up and I was like, this is just not my angle. This is not my angle. Oh my God, my hair is so weird. This side part is so deep. No, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Anyways, back to it. The lashes, my lash journey. Oh God. I feel like this lash journey is kind of never ending. And I think what I've just concluded is that we're gonna stick with falsies and just wait for the world to reopen. And when that happens, whenever it does happen, I will just go back to my life of lash extensions. And in the meantime, we will focus on lash growth and uh, application of falsies. So go check out the last vlog if you wanna see me struggle through some DIY lash extensions. And honestly, they look pretty good. Longevity, not great. But I also think that it was kind of just like user error. I woke up and there was a bunch of lashes on my pillow, which is of course Jeremy's favorite thing. It's just when I fill the bed with lashes. And then what really inspired the removal was I think I was filming a regular video, like a sun DIY or whatever, and I turned the camera on and I just looked completely the same. I looked completely, completely normal. AKA like a potato because my lashes were nowhere to be seen. So anyways, it just felt like for all the effort and the time, the time, four hours, four hours. And you couldn't even see it. So I was like, honestly, I'm just gonna go with falsies. I used some baby oil, removed all of it, and now we are here. <laughs> Anyways, I am about to film my IGTV for this week. Um, if you guys don't know, I also upload IGTVs like once a week, usually on like Wednesdays-ish. It's random things like hair routines and skin routines and a little bit of baking. I made cupcakes for Moose's birthday, as you guys probably saw. So anyways, that is the plan for right now. And then I have a really fun YouTube video that I am filming for this Sunday. If you watched Mona Lisa painting, part one. I want to give that a sec, just like be on YouTube because I just like don't know if I'm ready to take on painting Mona's face. So I want to do a fun video this week and then we'll go back to Mona I think next week for part two of finishing painting the Mona Lisa. I don't know why I got myself into that, truly. Truly a terrible decision. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna film. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just finished filming the IGTV and I made these Greek yogurt, fruit and dark chocolate little squares. They are frozen and delicious and Moose wants one so bad, but you cannot have because there's chocolate in there, bubbies. There's chocolate. You can't have that. So you can head over to my Instagram at LordDIY if you're not already following me, and there will be an IGTV video on the whole process of making them. Hi, guys. It is the next day, and oh my god, it is beautiful today. Holy crap. I'm sorry. You've got like a little bit of wind in your audio, but it is like 70 degrees, and it is so perfect out. It's like sweatpants, but like bare arms but like also beanie so I'm just hanging out outside I did some work this morning and now I am just hanging out I've got my switch I've got my phone and oh my gosh this took forever to come but my acoustic guitar is finally here she's so cute she's so so I ended up getting a mini acoustic guitar, which I did not know was a thing. I grew up playing just like regular electric guitar and sometimes acoustic. Yeah, I had no idea. I have very small little baby hands. So being able to stretch over these frets a little bit easier has been so nice. So I'm a little nervous that if I play anything for you, I'll get instantly demonetized, but <laughs> okay, no, no, but the song that I have been working on recently is Can't Help Falling In Love. I'm playing the original Elvis Presley version, so maybe I'll play a few chords for you. I'm super rusty, and the tips of my fingers, when you haven't been playing, they're just like little hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It's like when you don't have calluses built up, it's so painful. So I took a day off yesterday to let my fingers recover, but I gotta build my calluses back up. I know it sounds so disgusting, but the nails are still short and calluses, where are you? Do we think I'll get demonetized for that? I don't know, I'm gonna leave it in and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, we've moved on to Wonderwall and I'm having trouble getting the strumming pattern down and I think this is like a simplified version of the chords. But, it, but I'm kind of like low-key hoping that the wind in the audio is gonna help me not get demonetized because it sounds so pretty. But I feel like the beginning of Wonderwall is just like such an iconic beginning that anytime I hear the beginning chord, I'm like, ah!
with her. This is what the nasty tips of your fingertips look like when you haven't played guitar in forever. You just have like a nice little string imprint and they kind of go numb. <laughs> Fun, love that for me. Moose, I have bad news for you. We have to cut your nails soon. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried to cut Moose's nails by myself, but I ordered the tools on Amazon and like he's not fussy at all Like you can mess with his paws his ears his mouth. He really does not care like he's so chill But I just feel like he reads the energy well of a room So if he knows that I'm nervous, he'll get nervous and he'll start freaking out <laughs> If anyone has any tips for me on trimming their dog's nails, I keep seeing these like doorway swings that people have been making and DIYing so that their dogs can't run away and kick and scream and stuff. And I feel as if that may be in our near future. What do you think, Moose? No. Yes? You're cute! Who's the cutest? <laughs> Bubba, your hot breath is fogging up the vlog camera. <laughs> Moose has disembodied an octopus and is taking his tentacle away to, you know, I'm not quite sure what's next. I'm not quite sure what's on the agenda for tonight and Moose's tentacle. Here's the remainder of it. We've got a tentacle down. Oh my god, there's my guitar. Look how cute she is. She's so small. Honestly, someone messaged me and was like, you get a ukulele? <laughs> and the proportions in that one specific Instagram story did look very, very tall and like baby, but she is not a ukulele. She's not a uke. Anyways, I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry that my vlog game has been a little sporadic. I have a crazy press day tomorrow for Craftopia promotion. It's like back to back to back to back to back. So many cool articles coming. So stay tuned on Twitter and uh, Instagram stories for when they all come out. But yo, like what day is it? Craftopia coming so soon. It's May 13th now, 27th. 14 more days! That's exactly two weeks until Craftopia comes out. Holy crap, that's insane, that's so soon. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I will see you guys on Sunday for a Sunday IY and then uh, in the next vlog. Okay, bye guys, love you. Bye.